What's going on guys, Avery, AKA Roma the Romer, AKA Avery L. Viajero, here in Colombia, Cali, Colombia. And as you see, I'm here at San Antonio Park. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys three tips to save money when you come to Colombia. Now, personally, if you guys don't know who I am, I sell on Amazon, I value my time a lot. And so these tips are kind of gonna revolve around that. And so even when I lived in Miami, I like to have a maid. And so I'm, like, I'm not like bootstrapping it here, but if you guys go back in my YouTube channel, uh, if you're new, go watch my very first video ever. I actually lived in my car and it was voluntary, but I do know a little bit about saving money. So I do keep that in mind here as well. So tip number one, I actually just got some sushi. Um, they don't have Uber Eats here in Cali as of now. Look at the date of this video, maybe in the future they will. But uh, they do have an app that I didn't know about until I got here called Rappi. So tip number one, and I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but it's Rappi and this app is amazing, uh, dirt cheap uh, in comparison to America. If you really wanna bootstrap it and live as cheaply as possible, obviously just go to the grocery store, you'll spend like 30 cents to live for a month. Just kidding, it's not that cheap, but it's, it's pretty, pretty cheap. Like if you go to like a, even like the restaurant I go to every day, I pay $9 every day for my meal, and that's like with water, it's a good meal, nice restaurant, espresso, um, so yeah, it's good. So Rappi, tip number one. Um, tip number two, when you first get here, it's probably your best bet to use Uber because it's an American company, you're gonna be protected, and yada, yada, yada. You know, it's safe, it's familiar. But if you do wanna save money, there's two apps you should know about here in Cali. Number one is Didi. Everybody talks about Didi. It's a good app. Uh, it's, it's usually about 20% cheaper than Uber from what I've seen. You do have to pay with cash, Efectivo. Uh, Efectivo is the word for cash. You, you do have to pay with cash. I think Didi actually allows you to pay with card, but just know that Didi's good. My Cali is even cheaper, or Way Cali is the name of it. Way Cali. It seems like they're not as advanced with their algorithm. So during peak hour, Way Cali actually going to kind of maintain their prices where these other two apps seem to have surge pricing where the price goes up during peak hour. So if you really want to save 22 cents, <laughs> literally these Ubers are so cheap here. Like I pay, uh, my first Uber here, I paid $10 for an hour Uber ride. And my average Uber ride now is like probably three, two to $3. Like $3 is actually getting up there. And I Uber every day to Jiu Jitsu practice. And I'll give some tips on safety too at the end of this video. So if you guys want to hear about that and definitely don't sit in a park like I am with <laughs> This super expensive camera, but um, I will get in a little bit of safety tips too. But I go to jujitsu every day, um, and I obviously I come back from jujitsu, so that's like four dollars there. Last, if I do Way Cali, it's probably like two dollars and fifty cents total. Way Cali seems to always give me the price of a dollar twenty-five. That's what it comes out to, five thousand pesos, which is close to a dollar twenty-five, I think. So um, tip number three, what is tip number three? This is a very good tip, but it's probably my least uh, experienced tip because I have been staying at the same place. But tip number three is stay at Airbnbs over um, hotels. Um, but like I said, it's my least experienced tip and my gut tells me that you could find some cheap hotels and my gut tells me you really could find some cheap places. Like I met this girl and she pays $70 a month for rent. So if you are thinking about coming here long term, obviously probably the cheapest bet is to get like an actual apartment, but I'm just staying at this Airbnb. I get free breakfast every morning. So go on Airbnb, don't look for like hotels on Google. They're gonna cost more. And when it comes to these Airbnbs and when it comes to hotels in general, just realize there are different policies. Like if I bring somebody over for the night, I do have to pay extra. So that's something that I don't really have in America, I don't, I don't think, at least the places I've stayed at, I've never had to pay extra for somebody to stay over and also it's it's good like if you're really worried about safety I'll, I'll start getting into safety tips and this is a perfect segue make sure that like if you're gonna bring a girl over or something there's a whole string of YouTube videos out there about this crazy shit it's called scopolamine 
and uh, to where girls will rob you, and and uh, they'll they'll it basically scopolamine means a drug that they give you in surgery in America, but when it's given to you outside of like a surgical setting it makes you lose your willpower and basically they drain you from all your bitcoin your dogecoin you wake up and all that shit's fucking gone you basically just give them you do whatever they say i think it sounds a little mythical or uh, like a fairy not a fairy tale definitely not a fairy tale but like a i think they've kind of hyped it up a little bit but um my point is make sure that the places you stay at require them to leave their ID and if, if the girl who's coming over doesn't want to leave her ID then you know that it's a it's a no-go uh, get out of there she's probably trying to scope them in your ass <laughs> so if you guys really want to freak yourself out go watch some scope lamine videos but more safety tips here is like obviously like I'm in a park right now with a $1,200 camera but Guys, it's fucking common sense. Like, nobody's gonna fuck with me right now because there's so many people around. But if you're walking on a street by yourself, make sure you don't have headphones, you don't have your phone out, um, make sure you don't look lost, never look lost. So if you're walking down the street, if you're really paranoid, like when I first got here, try to dress like like the people here. Uh, I mean, if you're white as fuck like me, it's not gonna matter anyway. They're gonna fucking know, but you can at least act confident act like you know where you're going even if you don't the moment you like kind of look lost is like that's going to be the opportunity for the whoever is trying to jack your shit to say oh this person's lost so even if you are lost like don't look lost don't freak out breathe walk slow don't walk fast don't take taxis take one of these apps like if you're really paranoid you should probably just take uber they don't have lyft down here but i'm really comfortable here now so i take way cali pretty often just be on the lookout, like there are gonna be some people that try to get you. And the reason why I like Cali over Medellin is like, there's a saying when you go fishing that if there's small fish, there's big fish. Because the big fish eat the small fish. And El Poblado is a very touristic place in Medellin. And there's definitely more scopolamine type activities and in general, like, yeah, the crime rate might be higher here in Colombia, but what kind of crime are we talking about? Like the crime a tourist should be worried about is tur tourism crime, which I don't know the difference in the cities, but my gut tells me it's higher in Medellin. Uh, it's higher in places where the small fish, AKA you and me are hanging out in, in, in literal tourist traps, not like the sense of Nashville, Tennessee, Broadway tourist traps, but, where they're trying to take $20 from you for a fucking pedicab ride, but like a tourist trap is in there will actually kill you and take your organs. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get this video banned. Um, it, just use common sense. And in, in an area where there are more tourists, that's probably, you're probably actually closer to danger, ironically. So um, don't be in streets by yourself. Um, if it seems too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. You will, people will try to jack you from time to time. Like they'll try and, this happened to me in Costa Rica actually. Like I gave the guy way too much money on a taxi ride and he said thank you. And he didn't even say thank you like, like it was an assumed tip, but he said, you didn't give me enough, um, but it's okay. And I said, no dude, I gave you like everything in my wallet. Like I expected you to count it and give it back to me. And then I, we counted it together and it turns out he gave me like 75% of it back. So um, just know that there are good people, there are bad people, um, stay on your toes. Cali's really good for salsa dancing. I'm gonna make a separate video on this actually, on uh, the reasons why you should visit Cali, but the culture's fucking amazing here. People are down to earth. The music, everyone loves music so much, all types of music, but predominantly salsa, but they really have a respect for music, even American music, um, and I love that. Everyone here has rhythm. Don't have to worry about dancing with somebody who's gonna fuck it up for you, so. Actually, last night that did happen to me for the first time, but she wasn't from Cali, she was from Bogota, so it doesn't count. So, that's it guys, much love. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and, and hit that like button. I usually don't make videos like this, but I probably make more like this, because this is kind of like my groove right now. I'm, it's my goal to travel to every country in the world and I'm gonna take it slow. It's a whole lifelong journey. I'll be making these videos when I'm fucking 75. So much love, thanks for tuning in and catch you in the next video. Peace out guys.